guys. Today I'm going to show you my new Twitter client of choice, which is Talon. So I've been a big Falcon Pro user up until about a month or so back when I thought uh, I saw a lot of positive words about Talon. I thought I'd give it a go. It does cost £1.19 in the Play Store, but I thought, what the hell, let's see what it's like. Now straight away you can see as I'm scrolling through I get this orange bar up here telling me that I'm 340 from the top. Um, if I tap on the bit that says 340 from the top, it ignores it, and it basically goes through that tap. If I tap on the bit that says to first, there we go, I'm right the way to the top. Um, I can do the old drag down to refresh. I've got 143 new tweets to read. If I swipe sideways, I get my mentions, I go once more, I get my direct messages. Um, so that's kind of the, the main bulk of the app. That's what you're looking at. Now let's see, if let's go into a mentions one so you can see how it works within the tweet itself. So that's the actual tweet. What the fuck? If I go this way, we, we get the sort of conversation list. Um, so you can see what it was referring to. If I want to reply, I'm just tap down there, keyboard's open, and I, off we go. Um, if, let's find one with a web link, there we go. If I tap on that one, so you get just the tweet, as you can see, so tweet, we've got conversation, so we see replies. Come back to the tweet, we go this side, we get the web page. So I think that's all pretty slick, and again, if I want to retweet or reply, it's all easy enough. Um, so that's, I think, the main navigating element. If I wanted to tweet, you see it keeps popping in and out here, look, tweet please. If I want to attach a picture, oh, sorry, no, I could have sworn that's where I go, testing, there it is, sorry. So I can mention somebody, I can attach location, or I can attach an image. Let's discard that now. Right, let's come into the side here. So again, we've got sort of a different way to get to the different things. Discover, it's going to show me what's trending locally, what's trending worldwide. So if we tap next bond, there we go, I'm going to come back. Uh, lists, so if I wanted to view my lists, there they are. Oh, don't need to come all the way out. Favorite users, retweets. One retweet, one retweet, three retweets, look at that. Two retweets. Um, Interesting, when I was in retweets, how do I come back out without closing it down? Oh, it still, it still has got the side. Fine, uh, saved searches are at the bottom. I can tap to set up a new account, log out. Then back in the main thing, this is where I get my settings. Um, and again, I'm swiping sideways through the different, the different settings. We got different layouts, so I've gone for, we'll go for the Talon one, look. So I think we need to close it, there we go. It's still open in there, swipe that away. So that's the Talon view, uh, theme, sorry. And you've got a full screen one as well, so. Let's have a quick look at that. So that's using the whole, you see that's using the whole bottom, that's quite nice actually. All the images, poof, proper full screen. Go on, RG3. Go on, son. Well, lots of Redskin stuff going on. Good stuff. Why not? Right. Although I've now lost. How do I get that back is the question. Oopsie. So I'll swipe in from the side to get back to my menus back. Um, what else? What else? What else? Actual theme. So I've got the, I'm rolling with the black theme. Widget theme, text size, font. so I'm just going to slowly go through some of these, you can have a look at what what there is. Uh, so you can mute specific hashtags, um, you can see the muted hashtags, 
ignore retweets can be handy for some situations. Now you can have it set to pull mode where it's, it's constantly checking and it's, it basically gives you a live stream pretty much. Look, it's going to rip your battery if you do that. Just bear that one in mind. Pre-cache images look. Only over Wi-Fi, whatever. Refresh on startup. Yeah, I think I do. Notifications, yes please. Uh, timeline notifications. I don't want actual timeline notifications. Oh, there's 40 new tweets. I don't care. I want to know if someone's tweeted about me or someone's messaged me. Fine. Um, somewhere... I thought... Use Twitter. Memory management. Get help. Uh, other apps. So, now, the only thing I'm... Sync settings, sorry. So somewhere... Timeline refresh rate. So I can set the timeline to do every two hours and mentions to refresh every 20 minutes lock. And direct messages every hour. Maybe that should be more than that. Mind you, I don't get many, so screw it. So you can, I like that you can set those independently. Um, it has two widgets. So we have a 4x1 unread. It's going to look a bit odd on my desktop because my desktop is set to about 12 by 9 or something. Um, and the other one is, a, I think it was basically a timeline. Again, I need to resize that for you. So there you go, you can see you can generally just scroll through. You could almost do with being able to change the opacity of the background yourself. Pull to refresh, doesn't work, but we've got a little, it says up at the top, refreshing. And it's jumped right to the top, that's a little bit odd. Um, we can tweet from there if we want, look. Uh, we can see there, in the other sort of thin bar, it just tells me I've got new tweets. Or mentions, look. Or we can go ahead and, and send a tweet. So, again, both quite nice, functional uh, widgets. All in all, I just think it's a nice, slick, uh, easy to use, well presented, smooth uh, Twitter application, which I would recommend. As I say, it's £1.19 in the App Store. It's Talon for Twitter by Clinker Apps. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.